Hey, what's up everybody? Danny here and yeah, you read the headline and PSA has just discontinued pretty much all of the services that you and I have been using. So welcome back everybody. Thanks again for uh, tuning into my channel and please subscribe if you haven't already and you can kind of uh, see some of the, the stuff I've been talking about with PSA and, and just grading in general and sending cards in. Uh, but yeah, so just the other day received an email from the PSA president. Um, I think anybody who's uh, subscribed to the newsletter would have gotten it. And if you didn't, um, if you're definitely a member of the Collectors Club, like I'm a platinum member, so that's how I got the email, I'm assuming. But anyway, um, I'm gonna show you what the email said in case you are not subscribed and you don't really know what's going on yet. I'll show you this letter. I'm sure most people um, who are in the industry or you know, really involved with trading cards and stuff like that, especially with PSA, you've probably already heard. Um, but you know, going back you know, not even a month ago really was when PSA had increased their prices uh, for, for your submissions and you've got companies like HGA who are limiting how many cards can be sent in per person, per week. Uh, so a lot of stuff's been going crazy in this card collecting industry over the last year and it continues today. So let me show you this letter and then I'm gonna show you the website to show you uh, what it's looking like right now. So this is what I and probably a lot of you, the members um, of PSA, whether you have a, uh, any of the memberships, I believe you would have gotten this. And you can see it's a message from the PSA president. And basically starting off talking about just the volume that's coming in and how it's just overwhelming. But we go down and it says, given our growing backlog, it would be disingenuous for us to continue to accept submissions for cards that we will be unable to process in the foreseeable future. It is an unpleasant conclusion, especially after the March 1 price increase, but it is necessary to properly serve the customers who have already submitted to PSA. Effective immediately, PSA is temporarily suspending our value regular and express service levels. This will allow us to fully unbox and receive the recent surge of orders and focus on our most impacted service lines. And you'll see, uh, we will take a tiered approach to reintroducing these service levels. Our goal is to bring all suspended service levels back by July 1st, 2021. Uh, for us members as well, it says collectors club members will have their memberships automatically extended to match the duration of the value suspension. This extension will ensure existing members have 12 full months to utilize their annual collectors club benefits. And then it just starts talking about all their expansions and everything they're doing. Blah, blah, blah. But that is where we stand, folks. Uh, PSA backed up. HGA backed up. Everybody's backed up. Um, at least the other ones are still accepting submissions right now, but that may change. HGA, I'm sure most of you know, they've limited big time on what you can can uh, send in. So, and I know a lot of people are having a lot of trouble getting there. I've been wanting to try to submit to HGA, but um, I just haven't. I haven't done it yet because I've been waiting to see what's going on with everything else. And well, this kind of sums a lot of the stuff up. So. so here I am over on the PSA website under their, um, basically all the PSA pricing. And you'll see as it go down, value, service suspended, economy, service suspended, regular, service suspended. Uh, you can go down express, service suspended. Now, of course, the Super Express walkthrough those are available um, so if you want to spend a thousand dollars a card right here for a premium um, you know so of course all the higher price stuff is still available and you know those are still a lot quicker on the turnarounds and everything um, at least advertised who I, I have no idea what even like an Express now I had somebody tell me that they had sent something in Express and it's still um, it's been like 30 days so normally I think that's like 10 days, then it was up to 15, so who knows. But you go down, you can see uh, they still have their complete through dates. I've talked about these before. This kind of shows 
you know, when the last one was sent in right before this date that they're working on, basically like right here, economy, September 1st, 2020. So right before that, you know, the end of um, August is when they would have done the last order that they're, they're completed. And I guess they're right now at September 1st. I've got some that were sent in economy in the middle of September. So, you know, I guess hopefully that's a good sign that I'll maybe be getting those soon, but uh, go down, you can see autograph, same thing, economy, suspended, regular suspended, express suspended, the expresses and walkthroughs are good. And then all this stuff's like tickets, uh, pack authentication, reholder, and pack reholder. Yeah, so all of that stuff is still on there. But the other thing that, you know, today being April 1st was the, the thing I've been waiting for was quarterly specials. And of course, there are none now. So um, I'm trying to figure out what I am going to do now. Uh, I just wanted to see if they had a great quarterly special coming up. And obviously they don't. So I'm probably going to move on like many of you, I believe. Uh, you know, I know I've, we've got a lot of comments. I still love the uh, PSA label and it is worth more, but I think it's going to be changing. I think this is really going to back up the industry now. And um, these other companies are really going to get a lot of submissions, I think, right now. So we'll see what happens. So there is a look at what's going on. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be at least a few months. I won't be surprised if that July date gets backed up even further. Um, from everything we're seeing and hearing, it, it's, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, and then see what happens with all of you, me, everybody else. What are we all going to do right now? Uh, I have got, and I've talked about it in my other videos. Um, please watch them if you haven't. But I've, I've got at least 50 cards that I'm getting ready to send in somewhere. And I was waiting for today because of that quarterly special I was hoping for that I mentioned. Um, I was hoping they were gonna have something good and that's not gonna happen. So I don't wanna just sit here with these cards stacked up forever. I wanna get them graded. CGC is looking like the one I'm gonna go with. I wanna send a bulk order. I have never done more than 50 cards. And you know they've got the eight or nine dollar um, grading special for the bulk orders. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Give me a comment what you guys think. I know um, a lot of you have already told me before who you who you suggest. Uh, a lot of people said CGC. I've gotten some other ones, GMA. And, um, you know, for these cards, they're all not worth more than, you know, probably 75 to 150 bucks. So, you know, I, I'm not going to spend $20 a card like with HGA or something like that. I just want to get these out and get them in a slab and um, I think CGC is the way to go for these bulk orders. So that's what I'm thinking and I'm going to probably now do it in the next few days because I was waiting again for that quarterly special, didn't happen. So I'll get those together. Please subscribe so you can see when I do send those in. Uh, all my cards are from my personal collection from the 80s mostly, 80s, 90s. I uh, got a lot of baseball cards and um, some basketball cards. So those are the ones I'm going to be sending in. So hopefully I will be doing that um, very, very soon. But for this one, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you're going to do in the comments below. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.